Anywhere from 50,000 to 250,000 extra people are expected to be in the region for the upcoming total solar eclipse. And that congestion could be the difference between life or death for anyone experiencing an emergency that day. Matt Mathias has more on what's in place for emergency services. Matt. Well, Jen, it's very important. The county emergency management coordinator says they've studied how eclipses impacted areas where the phenomenon has occurred in the past, and they're ready. Imagine the usual traffic along Interstate 90, where vehicles are moving at a smooth pace. That norm could be flipped upside on April 8th for the total solar eclipse. And interstates like 90 could become glorified parking lots. The traffic afterwards is going to be the, the, the key. And that's where a lot of your issues are going to come in is, you know, when the eclipse is over, everybody's trying to leave this area and go back home. That's why Erie County officials are preparing for anything and everything, especially when it comes to emergency response. Patients that would normally be driven to the hospital via ambulance on a 15 20 minute drive they're potentially looking at a couple hour drive with the traffic so they may end up flying patients you know with conditions that don't normally meet the requirement just because of the time lag. Massaro says outlying Erie County departments are considering setting up small EMS stations or mini aid camps for patients with non life threatening conditions to be treated at. Mill Creek Township is one of the many municipalities that's worked hand in hand with the county to prepare for the congestion. Mill Creek will be strategically staging its emergency services throughout the township in advance, directing traffic and will be available to respond if needed. We do have um, ambulances that are are going to be ready. Our fire staff and our police officers are going to be ready to assist. Uh, we are going to try to keep the berms and the sides free and clear. That's one of the things that our police officers and, uh, and our fire protection will also be taking care of, making sure that we're clear of the berm. That way our police officers can use those sides in order to get where they need to go, get the ambulances there. And everyone involved in these preparation efforts continue to encourage people to stay off the roads and stay home if possible. Jen. Yeah, it is going to be hectic. All right, Matt, thank you.